So I'm going to share my screen with you. Hopefully we're live in at least a moment. Okay. Okay. Okay, it still says it's waiting for me. Maybe try to log back in. All right. Let's see what happens. Right, it's not going live. It says an error occurred. Please try again later. <laughs> oh good. What do you do with that? I do not know. Right, let's see if it will connect. Okay, yeah, I think we're live now. I should be live. If anyone else is out in there in the comments, say hello. All right, so I think we're live. And on my phone, have you checked on your Zoom at all? Um, no, not at all. No. I zoomed on the floor <laughs> next to me. All right. It's like a sad pancake. A sad pink? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Soggy one when I messed up. Uh huh. Pancakes. Well, this is cartoon analysis number five. And I'm not seeing why it's not joining. Let's see if I can go to it on the internet on my phone and see what we can find. At least we have some nice music in the background for anyone who <laughs> might be there. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look. On my phone. It says live now. That's great. And it, is it really live? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Okay, so let's just jump in and do whatever happens, happens. Okay, so this is cartoon analysis number five. Let's take a look. What are we going to do? Once again, we'll do a quick inter our introduction. I'm Michael. This is Chloe. This is my daughter, in case you're wondering why we don't look alike. But uh, yes, here we go. So today we're going to analyze comics and explore vocabulary and phrases in those comics. So here are the three that we're going to talk about. And I guess there's no need to delay. Let's jump right in. Are you ready, Chloe? I'm ready. Okay, here we go. Let's take a look. All right, so this is the first one. And let me just do, actually, let me go back here and do a quick check to make sure we're streaming. And it says we are, which is good. Ooh, I think there's a little delay, but no worries. Okay, so let's take a look. All right. So I'll read it, and then you read it, okay? So they can hear both of our accents. Okay. When you say quagmire with no exit strategy, you're talking about our relationship, right? When you say quagmire with no exit strategy, strategy you're talking about our relationship, right? Okay, so what do you see in the picture? I see um, two people, a female and a male, and they're both dressed up in like army kind of clothes, like like war kind of clothes, and they look bored. <laughs> <laughs> so they're probably not in a battle, huh? Nope. Yeah, they look a little bit bored. So they're is a word in here which is kind of uh, interesting. Have you heard the word quagmire before? Never. All right. So it's quagmire with no exit strategy. That is the phrase. But first, how? First, we'll look up quagmire. And do you have any guess, guesses? First off. I'm clueless. And who? Who is the one that's actually saying the stuff down below? Is it the man or the woman? The woman. The woman. How do we know? Because her mouth open. Her mouth is open a little bit, right? Okay, so let's put in quagmire into the dictionary and see what we find. And I can move our faces over there. All right, quagmire. I push enter. And it's not doing anything. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Don't let me down, Google. Two fails today. <laughs> yes, there we go. Okay, 
So at first it can be a soft, boggy area of land that gives way underfoot. So you've heard of a swamp, I assume. I have. A, a bog, marsh, mire, quag, stuff like that. So it can also be an awkward, complex, or hazardous situation. Let me zoom in. Can you see the words? Yes, I can. All right. So which one do you think it fits? Do you think it fits a soft, boggy area or an awkward, complex, or hazardous situation? An awkward, complex, or hazardous situation. Right. What does hazardous mean? I do not know. Again. <laughs> <laughs> well, hazardous is like danger. Danger. If you see on the back of a truck, it says hazardous material, and there's a sign with like a fire. Get away, right? Hazardous. Caution. <laughs> it could, right, caution, exactly. Okay, so when we go back to the thing, she says, when you say quagmire with no exit strategy, so quagmire is an awkward, complex, or hazardous situation. Let's put that here. So if you're just looking how they're dressed, what do you think is the hazardous situation? Well, it says right there, the relationship, so probably the relationship? Uh-huh. I mean, but if they're not talking and you just see how they're dressed, what do you think? Probably go like, the battle and all that stuff. Like, sure, like, right? They're, they might be in a war or something. Yeah. <laughs> so that could be hazardous to their health. Uh-huh. And, uh... Ah, there it is. We are alive. Good. <laughs> okay. So, she... He, <laughs> there's kind of a, com a confusion there. So when he's saying quagmire with no exit strategy, he might be talking about the war, the battle, the dangerous situation where people are shooting at them. But she thinks he's talking about what? Their relationship. What do you think is their relationship? Girlfriend and boyfriend, probably. Possible. What are other options? Brother and sister. <laughs> Awkward. Yeah. <laughs> so boyfriend, girlfriend, what else? What other possibilities? Business partners. I suppose. Right. Uh, How about crime partners? Partners in crime. Partners? Sure. They, maybe they could also, could they be husband and wife? Probably. I would say the woman, she looks a little bit too young, but okay. the guy, not really. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Well, whatever there it is, maybe like you said, their girlfriend or boyfriend. So she's focused on talking about their relationship, and he's like, "I'd probably rather focus on the people shooting at us right now and survive." All right. I don't think anybody's like shooting at them right now because it was like it would probably be like uh, the woman would be like calm and all that stuff, but then the guy would be like like have like a fear in his eye, like maybe like run trying to run around and all that stuff. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, sure, and they probably wouldn't be standing up because someone might, you know, <laughs> shoot him in the head. So can we, let's describe some of the gear that they're wearing for anybody who's watching. What do they have in their heads? A helmet. A helmet. Yeah. What do we call this thing right here that comes down to make sure the helmet doesn't fall off? Hydro helmet. No. Ah, we call it a chin strap. So we could say helmet, chin strap. The closest I ever got to looking at something like that is when someone's biking or roller skating. Okay, sure, sure. Well, you can have military helmets, you can have like rollerblading helmet, bicycle helmet, like you just said. Yeah. Sure. But I think that, if I'm not mistaken, I think that like the army kind of um, like hats, uh, like helmets, they usually like a little bit more like puffier. Like if you like jiggle it around, maybe like move your head, it can move. But yeah, I think uh, that the um, the other kind for like biking and all that stuff, it's a little bit like smaller, like going uh -huh. around your head. Uh huh. All right. So let's say we'll do bike helmet. All right. So it'd be something like that. How about this? We say military. A bit different. Yeah. Okay, and what do you call the clothing that they're wearing? <laughs> it's, hint, it's not a swimming suit. 
<laughs> but first I should put in there they're wearing helmets with chin straps. Okay, so they're what they're wearing what's called military fatigues. Whoop, and I have to spell I've that one. And sometimes I'll just say military uniforms for the clothing that they have, but let's take a look. See if I'm wrong or if I'm right. Military fatigues. Okay, so it's just kind of like the army wear. So what about military fatigues? Why do they why do you think they wear military probably, fatigues? Go ahead. Probably because it's like just say for example, there's like a whole crowd of people and they're actually trying to get like um the military people they're actually like in the war and stuff they'll be like let's call them and they're just like they're not to know which one's which uh-huh uh-huh yeah for example sure and you blend in what do you call it when it's all these colors mixed together and the purpose is that you want to hide i mean camouflage yes so <laughs> They could, they could wear like bright pink, but that might be kind of a problem. Let's see. So we call it camouflage. I don't think a camouflage would be pink. <laughs> Ooh, let's just see what shows up because sometimes the designers oh. do something crazy. Mm. Mm -hmm. Maybe we'll say wearing pink camouflage. I think it's kind of a little bit rare to see that. Oh. Now this lady, she's like... I don't need to hide in the woods. I'm just going around town. Uh huh. But you're right. Most people in the woods are going to wear something like this. Oop. Remember hunting with my dad and my brother back way back when? Sometimes we would wear camouflage. You know, so the animals. I, Go ahead. I never hunted. <laughs> Maybe someday. Uh huh. So we have camouflage. All right. So they're wearing camouflage. We'll bring that over. We could say they're wearing camouflage military fatigues. All right. Okay, so anything else you want to say about this cartoon? No, not really. And on your rating from zero to five stars, how interesting or funny do you think this cartoon is? I would probably say a three, because it's not that bad, but it's not like so, so good that it made me fall off my chair yeah. or something like that. Yeah. I agree. It's just kind of like, okay, next. Next. <laughs> but it's okay for learning uh, um, some vocabulary and using to study. What would you say the weather's like in this picture? Looks kind of nice. Huh? It's not like any shadows hovering over them or no like dark clouds, something like that. Uh -huh. How would you describe the sky? That looks more like the ocean. Ooh, maybe. <laughs> Good, good different perspective. So how would you describe the ocean? It looks really blue. <laughs> <laughs> really blue and calm, maybe. I was thinking like clear blue sky, but yes, clear blue ocean. What do you think this stuff, the brown stuff, what, where are they right Sand. now? In the beach. Ooh, on, in the beach or what other locations have lots of sand? Oh, nothing tell me to my mind. <laughs> um... How about in the desert? Desert, like warfare? That's not that fun. Yeah, that's not that fun. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't know about if I have ever seen in movies and pictures or anything on Google or YouTube sometimes that actually have like a desert and next to it is an ocean or water or something like that. Because right. usually, if I had to sum up one word for the desert, I would say uh, two words hot and dry. Uh huh. I need a lot of water. Let's see what happens. Ocean next to desert. All right, so I think along the coast in Namibia, Namib Namib Namibia, into the coast in Africa, some places it kind of merges together. I did not know that. <laughs> oh, Google teaches us everything. <laughs> okay, so I think we're probably ready to move to the next one. Are you? I am. All right. All right, and if anybody's out there and they have questions, put them in the comments. I can sh see the comments right here. Let's see. Can you see that, Chloe? Yes, I can. So, so far, it's just me commenting, talking to myself. 
<laughs> All right, let's do it. Here is cartoon number two. All right, so you go first, and then I will read it after you. Thank you for asking, but I'm already married to my phone. All right. <laughs> Thank you for asking, but I'm already married to my phone. So if you could explain this, would you say comfortable or awkward? Awkward. <laughs> go ahead. Um, I would probably say it's awkward since it's like, um, they've probably been in like an, a relationship or something like that. And then it's like, he proposes, he's like, um, do you want to um, be my wife or something like that? Do you want to be my fiance or something like that? And then she's like, I'm already married to my phone. And <laughs> that's, that's a uh, relationship friend zone. <laughs> <laughs> and what do you think he's thinking right now? I don't know since this never really happened to me and I never proposed to someone. But I would probably, if I was in his position, I would probably be like, wait, really? Because, like, I never heard of anyone that was married to a phone, for the phone, but also that is, like, darn it, that, yeah, it's like. <laughs> and, and when she says married, I'm married to my phone, is she being literal? Does that what she actually means? She has, like, a wedding certificate, marriage certificate saying no. she's married? Have you In seen a head, she could. <laughs> Have you seen what a marriage certificate looks like? Not really, but I've heard of many. Let's see, marriage certificate. And it's different, I guess, depending on the state and where you do it, but it's just this pretty document that says, hooray, you know, you're married. You're married, and... finally. Yes. Uh -huh. <laughs> I remember that um, actually once, um, close to a wedding certificate, it was actually like inviting me, my mom, and my grandma to a wedding, and it looked like a certificate, but I didn't know. Uh -huh. That was a wedding certificate, and their names were quite weird. That was <laughs> let me. Is it was it a wedding invitation? Yes, uh -huh. but kind of looked like a certificate. Anything like these? Some of them, but the one that my grandma got was like a certificate, like the name, the name, and then uh, say it says, it says what the date is when you're going to the party and all that stuff and yeah uh -huh. but i have to say i have one little secret um <clears throat> one little secret um for going to weddings is that i'm not there for meeting friends i'm not there for family i'm not there to take pictures i'm just there for the food yes there <laughs> for the food yeah was, was it a red one like something like this yes of course uh -huh. imagine if it was black <laughs> <laughs> and this is the Chinese we're talking about. Right, right. So anybody who's listening, my daughter is half Chinese and half American, or ha half Caucasian, I guess you could say. So my, my wife is Chinese. So this would be something like the wedding invitation they would have received. Hmm? And was it good? Do you remember? Was it good food? Not too bad, but I had better. It was too fancy. Later, I had... I had to go number two. <laughs> As in... <laughs> this is not appropriate for an English lesson. <laughs> it was in like, I just like ate the food right there. It was not too bad. And then later, I had to go number two. So for, for those of the people out there in YouTube land do, that do not know what number two is, <laughs> what is number two? It means going poop. <laughs> going poop. And number one is? Going pee. Right. And someone might ask, is there a number three? No. Possibly, but in general, we just say number one or number two. And it's cute with kids. You know, sometimes they're like really little, they say poo-poo or pee-pee. When they get older, they're like, oh, I have to go number two. Right. So. Or the bathroom. Or to the bathroom, yes. Ooh, I need to take care of some business. Right. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna, like, chow. <laughs> I yeah. never see you again. <laughs> <laughs> That's one thing I enjoy about my English lessons. They get off topic. No worries. 
that's the thing that I don't like about weddings. They sometimes make me go number two. <laughs> and once I had to go, I had to go throw up. It was so not good. Oh. I, I don't know what to say, but. Yeah. You're the... been, I think I've been to more weddings than you. It's, yes. Yeah, I stopped going Thank to you. them. <laughs> Okay, so here we are. So she says, I'm married to my phone. What does she actually mean? What What does she mean in different words? I'm in a relationship with my phone. Right, that's the idea, right? But she's probably not like grabbing her phone at night going, oh, sleep well, I love you. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> but crazy people, who knows? Let's see. If that let me. What do you think? If she, I'm going to type something. You tell me if it makes sense in this situation. So instead of she saying, but I'm already married to my phone, she said, uh, but, uh, but my phone is more important to me than, than you. Than you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, just like put it nicely. I'm married to my phone. In right. a long sentence, but my phone is more important to me than you are. Right. <laughs> I wouldn't like if someone said that to me. Right. So she's just being very direct and she's saying, you know, my phone is more important. Can you can you can you manage twelve applications at the same time while doing physics and looking up something on Google? It's like, but I have a nice ring. She's like, ah to heck with your ring, I got a phone. Huh? So how would you describe this location? What is the situation? Fantasy? By their clothes and stuff like that because uh -huh. um usually i wouldn't really see many people like for example from my thinking of fancy usually like restaurant weddings and like parties sometimes because it's like um usually some people just like like put on earrings or just like get in a suit and a tie and like a long dress sometimes that i would just be following all right. And when we say they're wearing, I just put a sentence. I said they're wearing formal clothing and eating in a fancy restaurant. How would we describe their formal clothing? What would you say? What are they wearing? The lady's wearing an earring, um, maybe a shirt, maybe a dress, and a necklace. Huh? And she has long neck. <laughs> and he's about to go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh huh. Uh, let's see. And him, what would you describe? What does the guy? What is the guy wearing? He's wearing a suit, um, and then he's also wearing a tie. Okay. There's usually like um, there's usually like three sets of clothes that the men usually wear for like maybe fancy stuff or going to their job or something like that. It's like they put on a, usually a white shirt, and then they usually put on a tie. And that's it, they put on their jacket, but they don't close the jacket. Well, sometimes they do, but most times they just like leave it open. Then when they're like in the wind, they'll be like, I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> then I'll be like, <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. Let's see what we can find for posing in the wind wearing a suit. There you go. <laughs> Uh huh. Not I guess. Like my imagination. Yeah, not quite right. No, like more crazily, uh, crazy. Cause like they're like their hands like up in their hair, and they're, they're like dancing like a salsa kind, like pose. Salsa. <laughs> uh, salsa dancing. I don't even know what salsa is, so. Well, it's just a kind of dancing. Let's see. We'll do a sa salsa and dancing. That I sometimes eat. Salsa dancing. There you go. So usually with a partner, or I guess you can line up, maybe if they're doing it in a dance class, right? Ooh, I don't know this kind of salsa dancing. <laughs> On a pole? I don't think so. This is what I think of when I think of salsa dancing. And it's quick, fast music, and it has a Latin beat, and it's just kind of intoxicating, and it's really nice. I okay. Think, um, but if I'm not mistaken, the salsa is usually from like a Hispanic kind. Like yes. Right. So it's like I I could just imagine myself in like a red and black and maybe white dress and then I was like dancing with a partner. Everybody would be like doing it perfectly, like do their like sharp 
face it, do it perfectly, I'd be that one that messed up and fall. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Or you would just be perfect and graceful and wonderful. Or not even dance. <laughs> You'd be the person sitting over in the corner on your phone texting and doing selfies. Yes. Now it's time for a selfie. Oh, yeah. All right. I don't take selfies, though. So let's see. I would say the lady's wearing like a pearl necklace. What would you say for a pearl necklace? Yeah, I would agree. Pearl necklace. Something like this. So the pearls are just like little round balls that are kind of expensive. And pearls come out of what? Where do we get pearls? Oysters. Ah. I actually remember once I was in the ocean and I remember that I actually swam a little bit far and then I actually found a clam, an oyster. Uh huh. And then it was like, I was actually like held it in my hand and I was trying to open it. It was so hard. It was uh -huh. like, I couldn't open it. It's like, I, I, I knew. I probably would, would, would not know, but probably that um, if I actually opened it, eventually my thumbs would break. And I don't want that to happen, not just for monster. Mm hmm. Yeah. I don't what, think I'm going to wear one of those. What do you think the chances are that there's a, a pearl inside? 10 out of 100. I have no idea. I ask you a question that I don't know the answer to. Ah, let's see. Garden's in the comments and she says, can you see our comments? I'm going to say yes. I can see your comments. And I only see a couple. I just see mine and I see one from Garden. So hello, Garden. If you have questions or comments, feel free to let us know. And I'll be keeping an eye on the comments. So somehow we got from uh, an awkward dinner party to uh, clams, clams oysters. and oysters. <laughs> so I think they were that possible. <laughs> they're probably seen they're sitting in a fancy restaurant. Damn. All right. Like with the wine, with the balcony, maybe like on a cruise, maybe. Sure. Possible. Yeah. If I was in my hype mode, I would be that person maybe like jumping all around and stuff. And like <laughs> doing cartwheels and uh, eating cakes, maybe. In the restaurant? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> by myself though, by myself. Mm -hmm. I'd be embarrassed. It would be like that day, I would act like a drunk person, even though I'm not drunk. And then the next day, <laughs> I'd be embarrassed. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm making this up though. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so they're sitting in a fancy restaurant, and uh, what do you think they're drinking? What is he drinking, and what is she drinking? He's drinking maybe beer. Sure. Mm -hmm. And how about her? I don't know. I've never seen a drink like that. Maybe soda. Soda. How about wine? Do you think? Beer. <laughs> Pur purple grave wine, or beer? I don't know. And what is he holding in his hand? A ring. Aha. And what do we call the ring? Because sometimes there are two. There's the first one that makes it kind of official that we're going to get married. And there's a second one once you actually get married. Engagement ring. Ah. Oh, no. Yes, that's right. Engagement. Oh, Let's see. I'm just looking at the comments here. The first one is the engagement ring and the other one is called the wedding band, I think. Let's see. Uh, Garden says people are joining and putting comments, but you don't seem to see any comments. Hmm. Well, let's see if I can... I wonder if it's on a different chat box. Let me see. One second. Maybe I can find... Oh, there are! It's on a different chat box! I don't what? <laughs> Alright, let's see if it... Oh, look! People are talking! Oh. I had the diff... I had the wrong... Window open. Mustafa Arziz here. Layla, Layla Almeida's here. Ika oh. Farajan, Faharani's here. Now oh. I actually realize maybe some of them actually ask some questions and we were like just like talking or something. They'd be like, oh, Yes. Okay, I so we'll, sc <laughs> we'll scroll back through and we'll see. Okay. So Kia Ink says, Hello, guys. Okay. Layla Almeida has said camouflage. Yes. Mustafa Arziz said the male soldier is kind of fatigued one. All right. Desert. 
mission, right? We must have said something interesting because they said, ha, 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 that's so funny. <laughs> You'll miss it, right? All right. Oh, Ika Farahani says, where are your daughter now in a different country with you? Uh, we're in the same country, in the same house, but she's in a different room. And why couldn't we sit in the same room, Chloe? What was the problem? There was an echo. And yeah. I was an echo if I yell a little. Right. <laughs> so there was an echo where I would, her microphone, I could hear it on mine, and it was a mix, so we had to sit in separate rooms. Oh, um, I sat for, for Zari a little bit up. Uh-huh. He says, um, beloved phone. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm married to my phone, <laughs> beloved phone. Yeah, I would have to say though, if someone was like, um, have to say, would, will you be my girlfriend? And I would like have my my tablet right in my hand. I'd be like, no, tablet time. Because <laughs> I can go on my tablet for hours. Believe me, I can. <sighs> I All right. Different people. I'm gonna put in. I can see the comments now. Yay! All right, so if you have questions, feel free to ask. All right, so let's continue. People are there. Wonderful. All right, so we have this situation, and they might have similar background music to what we have right now. And he's like, this is the moment. This is the moment. We've been dating for like... Go ahead. Okay. <laughs> But I'm already married to my phone. <laughs> right. And he's probably like, will you marry me? Right. So I'm not sure around the whole world, but in the U.S., there are usually two rings. When you get married, you have the engagement room ring. Mm -hmm. And then you have the wedding band. Mm -hmm. Hmm. So the let me ask you, Koi, which one do you think usually has the big diamond on top? The wedding band or the engagement ring? Maybe both, but maybe the engagement ring? Because I never really heard of a wedding band. I heard uh -huh. of a band, but I also heard of a wedding. But put those two words together, I'm, I'm not clueless. All right. Well, I mean, if it's your wedding, you can really do whatever you want. You could put diamonds and rubies and everything. But in general... Can, can uh -huh. we do a cartwheels and all that stuff? <laughs> and make people fall off their chairs? Do whatever you want. Let's see. Here's an engagement ring. And make them eat hot sauce? <laughs> <laughs> That's what floats your boat and makes you happy at your wedding. Anything? All right. So the engagement ring is the first one. It's the one you propose with, right? And you say, will you marry me? And this is the engagement ring and there's a diamond on it. And supposedly, you think uh, women want a bigger diamond or a smaller diamond? Depends, but mostly bigger. All right, let's see what happens. Huge diamond. I never really hold a, held a diamond in my hand before, so just say I don't really know how, how big it would be if I actually had looked at one. It, it depends. I mean, they come in all different shapes and sizes. Some could be like this big, and then so I'd be like putting my finger in, and I'd be like, ah, ah. Well, when I see this diamond, the first thing is I don't think of like a piece of jewelry, something beautiful, I think it could be used as a weapon. And you like, <laughs> it's huge. And you could like punch someone. Look at this one. You'd be like, they'd be like, can give me your phone. I'm robbing you. You'd be like, pow. <laughs> uh -huh. All right, let's see in the comment. Layla Almeida says, fiance, yes. So after you give the person the engagement ring, what do they have to do, Chloe, before they actually become your fiance? Put on the ring. <laughs> they have to not say, I'm married to my phone. <laughs> yeah, for me, if I actually, if that happens to me in probably like 30, 20 years or some, 40, I don't know, I would be embarrassed. I'd be like running away. Well, my cheeks would be burning. <laughs> Well, you're just 10 years old right now, so you have plenty of Ten and a half. Ten and a half. All right. So the engagement ring, will you marry me? Or maybe he would give a little bit, of, a little speech first. We've been together for three years. You're the love of my life. And she's like, just stop. I'm not going to marry you. <laughs> <laughs> That's perfect. Uh -huh. Yeah, but I think it would sound better to be like, well, we've been in a relationship for one week now. 
and I got you this big diamond and I was wondering if you wanted to and then she's like just stop there that's the perfect timing uh-huh. I'm already married to my phone see I wasn't having my pocket and maybe she's like you should have noticed I tell you to be quiet all the time so I can take my phone calls <laughs> uh-huh uh-huh so let's see so they've been sitting here they just have their drinks Maybe they don't even have their food next or yet. But what do you think will happen in the next five, ten seconds? An awkward silence. What does awkward mean? Like, um, maybe like, oh, no one ever asked me that. Uh, well, probably like an awkward silence means like, an awkward silence means awkward, but um, <laughs> I don't know. Well, let's like, see. Um, probably that it's like, um, it's not really like interactional. It's like you're not really talking, maybe like an awkward silence. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. Uh huh. So basically, we're trying to just make the same sentence, but with a different word that means the same thing as awkward. Well, let's see if anybody pops up in the comments because boy, I know you know what the word means, but sometimes okay. we need the extra word and it's like... Uh, uh. Oh, yeah, yeah. I actually have an explanation. I remember that um, actually just yesterday. Um, I remember that because um, I usually always go, always want to at least, go to a trampoline park, which is called Fun and Fit. So I usually go there and I have three friends. Um, I'm not going to say the names, but all different ages <laughs> and no one's same as me, but yeah. Uh, so basically, it's like we usually sometimes go at the same time together. And I remember yesterday, one of them went and I was like, hi, it was not that awkward. It was like comfy. I knew him. I know him for like three months. So just say if I met someone new, I would be like, um, if I was like asking a question, I'd be like, oh, uh, so it's a little bit of awkward silence. Yes. All right. So I see right away in the comments, Garden had said unpleasant. So I can think of at least three different ways to change this word. All right. So this is the target sentence. So we have in a moment, there will be an unpleasant silence. And it should actually be a comma there because there's kind of a pause after we say that. Let's take a look. Uh -huh. Let's see. Layla Almeida says, awkward, repeat, please, the meaning. Well, Layla Almeida, and let Chloe here, I'll let you see the comments so you can see what people are saying. Can you see that, Chloe? Yes, I can. All right, so let's stretch it out a little bit. There we go. All right, ooh, Mustafa says, bizarre. That's a nice one, too. All right, there will be a bizarre, bizarre silence, right? I think the, co the comments just disappeared. All right, one second. There they are. Okay, we have bizarre, bizarre. Mustafa says weird. Yes. Huh? All right, let's do, let's put in weird. There's one we haven't fit, did, done yet. Oops. Weird silence. Mm -hmm. Can you think of any other words, Chloe? I'm trying. The first word that came to my mind was like a poor like in a moment there will be and poor silence a poor like unfortunate maybe yeah uh-huh uh-huh well let's see nobody has said yet uncomfortable do you think that fits chloe yes uh, it's quite confusing how i didn't think of that and i thought your first language was english <laughs> <laughs> okay i need my spanish to back it up Kasha, Pero si quieres, podemos hablar en español y puedes enseñar a las personas que puedes hablar español. Okay, ellos no pueden entendernos. Tal vez es posible que haya personas que están mirando que hablan español, pero no sé. Pero de todos modos, esta es una lección de inglés. ¿no? English. <laughs> okay. Okay, back to our normal language. <laughs> All right, back to English. All right, so here are a few different ways, and this will answer right here is 
Layla Almeida's question was awkward. Please repeat, please, the meaning. The meaning is in here in the sentence. So we have awkward. Awkward can mean unpleasant. It could mean bizarre, weird, maybe strange. And in this situation, probably the most direct one would probably be uncomfortable. Because suddenly he's like, What do you say after that, right? Uh-huh, uh-huh, uncomfortable. Why don't we do this? We'll look it up in the dictionary. Uh, we'll see what they put. Go. Doesn't it go? And I click search. I'll put it up here. Why am I singing? Why are you singing? No. Do awkward meaning. There we go. Yeah, it's awkward singing silence. All right, so you tell, can you read definition number one and number two and tell me which one fits in our situation? Okay. Number one, causing difficulty, hard to do or deal with. Number two, causing or feeling embarrassment or inconvenience. Ugh, embarrassment. That fits oh. me so well. Definitely. Right? Oh, here, this is perfect. He had put her in a very awkward situation. So do you think he put her in an awkward situation or she no. put him? She put him. And explain. Chassis. The pe <laughs> she had her phone. So she tell me, need anyone. explain why, why is this an awkward situation for him? Because um, it's basically like probably in his mind, he was thinking that she would probably say yes, but, but I'm already married to my phone. And sure. Yeah. <laughs> right so yeah he probably thought they would be kissing and hugging it at this point but she's like you know no i want my phone okay <laughs> so this was good we have at least one two three four different ways to say awkward let's see what they say in this situation they have embarrassing uncomfortable unpleasant delicate ticklish <laughs> maybe given the right situation tricky sensitive problematic Problematical, troublesome. So it could it could be different. Just depending on the situation. For me, on this one, I like uncomfortable. And unpleasant is pretty good too. Because there's just like that weird silence and everybody's like, okay, who talks next? He might say, Ooh, you know, I need to use the restroom. I then would he... always be the one if we were if I actually had like a friend group, I I know straight away that I would be that person that would be like Okay, okay, like break the silence. <laughs> it is, and it sucks, but it's like, I remember once I was in a group and I was always known for like talking a lot. And it's true, I'll admit it. <laughs> and I was talking. Uh, so I was actually like, uh, it was like an awkward, very awkward silence. And then everybody was like looking at me and I was like, what? And then they were like, oh, okay, she broke, she broke the silence. And I was like, All I can say is, I'm heartbroken. Cart two, <laughs> cart two, number three. Here we come. <laughs> How is that funny? It's not, but I need to stay focused. <laughs> okay, so before we go, anything else you'd like to say about this cartoon coin? It's very funny. It's funny, and compared to the first one, which one do you think is better, number one or number two? Number two. Number two. Okay. All right, so let's do number three. Oh, quick, I'm just going to summarize this in a couple sentences for anybody who's listening. What we have is we have, a, I would say, middle-aged man and woman sitting at a nice table, dining, probably in a fancy restaurant. They're dressed in formal clothing. The woman's wearing probably a nice dress with pearl, a pearl necklace. The man is wearing a nice business suit, and he is probably about to, or he just asked because it says, thank you for asking, oh, baby, you're the love of my life. Will you marry me? She's, and then she's thinking, I'll be polite. Thank you for asking, but I'm already married to my phone. And in long words, um, my phone's more important than you. In short, uh -huh, in, in, in short, in brief, in a nutshell, she, my phone is more important than you. Time for a selfie. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So let's go to the number three, because time is flying. Here we go. Oh, yeah. 
All right, so you be the woman and I will be the guy, okay? <clears throat> I like this one. Go ahead. You look different in your online profile. I was impressing you with my Photoshop skills. Okay, so a couple of things here. When they say online profile, what kind of profile do you think they're referring to specifically? And in the comments, you guys want to answer to answer to what kind of online profile is this or this situation? Maybe an. Oh, can I answer? Oh, uh, you uh, race the people in the comments. Go ahead. I forgot. Uh, um, probably like maybe a WhatsApp or Instagram or Facebook. Like they meet on Facebook and just say the guy he's like. Do a photo of a young man, as handsome and all that stuff, but then when she shows up, it's different. Hmm. So you said WhatsApp, Facebook, something like a regular social media yeah. profile. But probably Instagram, because I never really had anybody that like just whooped into my my section of. Uh huh. Yeah. Well, let's see. I'm gonna put the question here. See if anybody answers in the comments. What kind of online profile fits the situation in the cartoon? Because there are many different kinds of profiles, even for your banking. You go online and you have banking, you can update your profile information, stuff like that. Uh, if you're a teacher, if you have a company website, YouTube, Facebook, there's one kind of online profile which fits this situation perfectly. Go ahead. Tinder. Tinder. <laughs> I think Tinder is like, I don't know a lot about a that. A dating app, I know. A wow. dating app. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. It's like, <clears throat> I remember I saw an ad about it. It's like you have to like sign in and tell your age. And then it's like, you can basically like have your phone. And then basically it's like, uh, people show up. Who knows if that's the real face. <laughs> but then it's like, it'll be like, if you swipe right, I think it's like, you don't like that. If uh -huh. you swipe Sorry, if you swipe left, then you don't like them. But if you swipe right, then it will be like green, like chat. Then uh -huh. if you're interested, you can like chat. And also, it'll, it's like just say, for example, <clears throat> I'm 36 years old. Okay, uh, 36. And I put in the Tinder, I'm 36 years old. Six year old. And there's that, it will just like match you up, like close to your age, not like a two years old. Okay, okay. And. You know about it. I've heard strange things about Tinder, but uh, I don't know that much about it. But yeah, I think you're right. This would be like an online dating profile. Give it up in the comments. I want to see what you All right, let's see. All right, so I think some of these are for the last picture. Mm -hmm. In a moment, they're going at each other. Right, Lehuda says, in a moment, they're going at each other. I think that might have been from the last picture. Going at each other could be like they're getting angry at each other or if they're like really mushy and kissy, but in that situation, I don't think. Layla Almeida says maybe they're only in so talking only in social media. That's possible. Yes. Garden says nine, year <laughs> nine years old. What does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Matchmaker. Matchmaker. Uh -huh. <laughs> I think maybe some people looked up for like on Google maybe. Huh. Well, this is, could be like an online dating profile. Sometimes I don't know how I, I don't know. I don't really have experience here, but online dating website. And they probably have apps or maybe an app, let's say app. So let's see what happens. What kind of pictures show up when we see online dating app. Layla Almeida says, I don't understand your question. Okay. Let's see. Online dating. We'll try a uh, website. I'm a little I actually, bit old. I uh, typed in online, online dating apps and it put in Tinder, Greek, Hind, Bumble, uh, like Humble, but with a B and Zooks uh -huh. and OkCupid. Okay. So let's see if I can answer uh, Leila Almeida's. Ah, so I said, what kind of date? What kind of uh, profile? 
I would say it's some sort of website or app like this, says Love Story, where men and women, they put in information about themselves and then they try to, they try to hook up, which means to, de to date or meet someone romantically, right? So it's an online dating website, right? What are you smiling at, Chloe? <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Can you bring back the comments? I'll bring back the comments. <laughs> bring back the comments. Yeah, I'm actually kind of confused a little. Maybe if I say it out loud, it'll be better. It says, uh, can you move that block thing so I can... Okay. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> um, Vera Kalungina, she said, huh? Michael, you don't have this hard echo, but Chloe has. Period, period, period. That is a pity. Is that a good thing <laughs> or a bad thing? I'm well, confused. it means that your echo, your voice is echoing. We need to get you a microphone is what we need to do. But because your echo is, your oh. voice is bouncing around in the room. It's Remember we did the echo before in the big rooms and I was whistling oh, yeah. and clapping my hands to see if the sound was good? Yeah, that's what I said earlier, like earlier, earlier. When uh -huh. I had a little bit of echo when I shouted. Right. So maybe what we should do is we should get uh, another microphone. Because I'm, you, you can see the microphone right here in mine. And so my voice is very close to it. And it, my room's a little bit smaller too. And then uh, Layla Almedia <laughs> said, or Telegram. <laughs> or Telegram. Let's see, Garden says, sorry, I was surprised she knows about Tinder. <laughs> Age doesn't matter. Age doesn't matter what Not kids anymore. kids talk about these days. But I don't even know if I should be looking. Let's see. It's like, okay. I think it's usually like, see, right there. Uh, the woman is like, <clears throat> it's like, um, just say, for example, you can like swipe. And then if you like it, you can like, uh, maybe like, it's a little tiny bit of a, like a matchmaker. It's like the app brings huh. people together. Like you can date and then maybe like online and then you can um, just <laughs> meet online. See right there. Um, can you see the guy, the qualified men tender? That uh -huh. So basically it says right there, X and a heart, but um, red and green. So basically, if you swipe left, cancel. Bye bye. If you <coughs> more like that, and if you swipe to the this way, I think, which is the, to the left, your hand, uh -huh. uh, then you maybe want to chat. And if you like him, date him maybe. I see. I know about this. And, and I should ask, how do you know so much about Tinder? <laughs> <laughs> I found the app. It was an ad. Oh, it was I an think ad. I might have thought that authority, a single mm. older person in their apartment or something like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Interesting. I found this out when I was like nine. It's about a year ago. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay. Well, let's see. So it's a, a dating app, and I should go back to my question that I asked. What kind of online profile fits the situation in the cartoon? I would say the online profile of a dating app. So it sounds like this guy, he put probably his information might be true, but the picture was not, not, true. <laughs> not true. And he he is uh, not so good looking, right? And so what do you think is going to happen in this situation? She's going to slam the door. She looks kind of bored a little. Uh -huh. Like she's like, you look different in your pro online profile. Uh -huh. It's like, uh, she's like, um, not trying to be nice, but it's like, she's like giving the hint, go. Uh -huh. like something that I can't really describe, but it's like, it's a little bit like, I don't know what word to use for it though. What do you think? If I said the woman is, if I can put it in there. What, what could we, how could we fill in this sentence? Mm. Probably the woman is not interested. Okay, I'm not. And same thing in the comments, you guys help us out, interested. All right, oh, Layla Almeida says, let me bring the comments back, we can see. He was surprised. Can I see it? Oh yeah. You look so fast. <laughs> huh? Ederson Souza says she's very disappointed. You see this one, Koi? Vera Kalogina says, thanks for Thank paying attention, attention to this, to this echo. echo. 
<laughs> yeah, I just felt I actually was like using my tongue. I was like, and also like, I can hear that now too. Since right. I'm actually wearing headphones and stuff. Like, Right, so we're going to have to find a better place for you to sit next time. Okay, so they're saying disappointed. They're spelling it wrong, so we're going to fix it right here. Disappointed. And there's two P's, so even I spell it wrong. Aya. <clears throat> Whoop. Where am I doing it? Shame. Put two S's instead of two P's. Okay, so disappointed is probably the best one. And we're going to highlight that one. Well, she doesn't really look disappointed. She looks more like bored. Like uh. I look just like if she was like this, I would probably say like surprised. If she was like this, like her eyebrows were forward, maybe disappointed. But she looks like this. Uh huh. Like her, you can see her eyelids a little bit more. Which for me, if I see someone actually like their eyelids like that, they're tired, they're looking down at something, or they're bored. Uh huh. I see in the comments, Garden says let her down. Yeah. Right. So that's the right idea we can fit it into this sentence we need to add another word to make it sound more natural we could say she is or the woman is feeling let down someone actually just said in the comment a comment um they met on skype <laughs> <laughs> they met each other over skype yeah is possible huh all right edison Souza, she's very disappointed leila made it disappointed is what we're looking for so Garden said, let her down. We could say she is feeling let down, which is similar to disappointed. I'm kind of upset because my hopes were so high. And he has a cool shirt, but he's fat and ugly. <laughs> How would you describe this guy, Chloe? Um, I would probably say um, a little bit older, older than her. Uh -huh. um, um, if I said over what? Weight. Yeah, overweight. Um, yeah. Huh? The man is older, overweight. Uh, and he wears glasses. Uh huh. Is overweight. Has what do we call? Has bad eyesight. And, uh, uh, what was I going to say? Is fair, is unattractive. Hmm. I think by a lot of people's standards, we wouldn't, like, okay, if I put in attractive men, do you think someone like him will show up? No. Unless someone maybe just, like, putting it as a joke or something. All right, so I'll put attractive men. We have, like, actors, and uh, I think he's a hmm. soccer, football player. Okay, so if we put un, we just add two words. <laughs> well, I don't know, they don't look so bad. Faces. Oh, Kanye West came up. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Okay. So let's see. Look at this one. Lee Huda says, a pregnant guy, overweight. <laughs> Maybe he smells bad. Ooh, we could say it has a uh, strong body odor. He smells bad. Edison Souza says, sorry, I'm still learning. Thanks for the correction. No need to apologize. We're improving here. All right. Okay, so let's see. Uh, all right, why don't we just repeat the cartoon and then I'll summarize it. So you be the woman and I'll be the man. Go ahead. You did different in your online profile. I was impressing you with my Photoshop skills. So when he says impressing, what does impressing mean? Like, for example, oh, I do this a lot. Well, in another way, you could be like maybe showing off a little. Like that. Could be. Um, because actually, in the trampolines, um, I can actually jump quite high. Okay. Something more than the average ten-year-old in Indonesia. So, um, and sometimes even more than the teenagers. Um, <clears throat> so I can just like jump high and sometimes some people can actually just like look at me out of the, on the outside, I'll be like pretending that I'm afraid of heights on the inside. I'm like, <laughs> uh huh. So, yeah, so it's like impressing, like um, maybe like showing off, like trying to get your attention. Okay. So in impressing, if you're impressing someone, someone on the other end is like, wow. That's kind of cool, right? 
So he's like, I was impressing you. I was making you think, wow, I'm really good looking, right? Because he probably put a wonderful picture and stuff. And Photoshop skills, what kind of Photoshop skills do you think he was using? Probably good ones. <laughs> but specifically, what do you think he did with his profile picture? Mm, he took away his glasses probably. Made on him had more hair, a less fat hair. Okay. And look a little thinner and yeah. Okay. Now well, let's see, what is it? Reality versus fantasy for expectations. Expectations? How do we do it? Expectations. Versus reality. Uh, I don't know if it's going to fit. That's okay. We probably don't have time for that. Oh, yeah. That one's a good one. The expectation reality one is like... Uh, can you go back for a second? Yes. Like this? Yeah, that one. The second one. Finding out new things about them. Wow, you love to volunteer um, your time to charity and cook fresh meals every night. But you don't like pizza? But it's pizza. That <laughs> might be me because I love pizza. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, and it's it's off. another cartoon. It's another comic. Maybe for another time. All right. So let's see if we summarize this this cartoon here. Do you want to summarize it, Chloe, or should I? Go ahead. All right. So we have a lady who's uh, she opened the door to her apartment or condo, I would say, and uh, she was expecting to meet someone that she had met online using a dating app. And they probably have a history together, chatting and talking. And in her mind, she has a different image of what she sees when she opens the door. And there is the guy and she's like, excuse me, do you have the wrong place, right? And then he says who he is and she's like, you look different in your online profile. I was impressing you with my Photoshop skills. But he's completely different, as at least physically different than what she was expecting. And who knows? There are lots of different possibilities here. Maybe they'll meet, maybe they'll get along, maybe they'll have a great time together. Uh, maybe they will not. Like you said, maybe she'll close the door and that will be it and they'll, they'll, they'll separate. Okay, so let's see, we're gonna wrap up, all right? Let's see. Today we did cartoon analysis and this was number five, right? And uh, let's see if we did what we said we're going to do. Did we analyze comics? Yes, we did. Did we explore vocabulary and phrases? Yes, yes we yes. did. Right, to check. All right, so remember, improve your English, become more valuable. Oh, improve your ability to do things. It just doesn't have to be English. English is one tool that can help you out in your life and it makes you more valuable. You can create more value. All right, <clears throat> if right you now like. I'm trying, right, sorry, but I'm actually right now trying to uh, copy my photo before like a few months ago. I can't do it. <laughs> I look so different. We need the, hit me we, <laughs> need the glasses. we need the glasses. Oh, glasses. Mm -hmm. All right. So if you like our stuff here on YouTube, make sure to subscribe and hit the like button. It lets people know that you like it and maybe someone else will too. All right. And if you're already subscribed, there's the bell button and you can click it and YouTube will send you a notification when we have something new. And my end tradition of my lessons Mm -hmm. is to show another picture. So let's take I'm a look. I'm trying to copy it. All right, so here is the last picture before we close for tonight. All right, Chloe, I didn't show you this picture before, so this is new for you. Why don't you describe it? Well, it's about nine people's hands. Okay. Um, like going in like a group hand like going on top of each other okay just usually if i actually see this i usually be like i remember that i was like playing with this group of people um they were really really active and they were like this like let's go team and they're just, they were like like put their hands on them they're, they're like um for example their um the group name was actually roar <laughs> then after that i was part of it so they were like going all the time and then like go roar and then like put their hands up. Uh huh. Uh huh. It's quite weird. Right. So at the beginning, they might have said, 
<clears throat> okay, everybody, put your hands in or put your hands in the middle. And everybody's like, do we have Tomato to? Tomato smack. <laughs> And the people, they might have been like, do we have to? Or they maybe they're like, yay. And then they all put their hands in. No, they're probably going to be like, yay. <laughs> yay, I love this. Yay, really. <laughs> That's so fun. Maybe, yeah, I know. Oh, no selfie, please. No selfie, please. Uh-huh. All right. So they put their hands on top of each other. This could be some, motiv some sort of motivational event before this they start working or something or maybe volunteering and they're trying to come together as a group and the team leader's like put your hands in and they're like hey okay and then, <laughs> and then they put their hands in and then maybe he's like okay on three everybody say go team so he's like one two three and he's the only one that says go team <laughs> Everybody else is like, hey, go team. Uh -huh. Can you look at the comments one more time before you... All right. Let's see. See, Lee Hood says, skeleton staff are meeting each other outdoors. Sure. Skeleton staff is a term that means like uh, when there's not the full staff. There's not the full number of employees and they're just keeping things running so it's a, a smaller amount. Maybe... Actually, we've seen it here in Indonesia where the security guards and sometimes the employees at restaurants before the shift. Have you seen it where they all get together? I haven't seen like, Go a uh, hot pot. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> right. Okay. So I guess that is it. So I'm going to put the comment right here and I'm going to type. What should we say? What would be a nice way to end it? Oh, yeah. I think you and me are only laughing at our own humor. So how, how, how should we say thank you to the people mm -hmm. for watching? What should we say? Thank you for putting your time into watching this video. This Sh sure. Thank you for spending your time with us. Yeah. Yeah. Is that yes? Mm -hmm. All right. Spending your, spending your time with us and improving your English. <laughs> All right. Until next time. Next time. Da, 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 da. See you soon. soon. All right. So here we go. Send it. A pow. Okay. So I'm gonna stop sharing, and I will see you. I'll probably see you in just a couple minutes. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Let's see. Let me where it is. All right. Bye bye. Bye bye.